Sasha, Sasha, you must take this to the kind doctor as thanks for him saving my favourite son. Ivan Mikhailovich, my mother ordered me to thank you. I'm my mother's only son and you saved me, cured me from a dangerous disease. For this, neither of us knew how to thank you. Stop, please. I did nothing special. We are poor people and we cannot pay you, but you saved my life. I'm my mother's only son. And for this, we want to give you this. It's a rare thing of ancient bronze. It is not necessary. Sasha Smith, well, why have you done this? Please, do not refuse. You will offend my mother. Besides, my father, who used to trade in ancient bronze objects, also owned it, and as my mother does now. She has carried on his trade after he died. I will place it here for you. Yes, it is very beautiful. But how can I keep such a phantasmagoria on the table? I'm a family man. I have children and clients. Ladies call up. Yes, but it is an ancient museum piece of rare bronze. It was my father's too. I'm only sorry there's not a pair of candelabra for you. Well, okay, thank you. It's useless to argue with you. Please, do not argue. There is no need. Keep it here. As I say, I am only sorry there is not a pair. It is the least we can do after you saved my life. And I am my mother's only son. Goodbye, Doctor. Hmm. The thing is good. And it's a pity to throw it away. <laughs> but to leave it here is impossible. This is the problem. So who can I give it as a present? Mm. Ah! Uho! Very good. He's a friend. And, and it is inconvenient to take money from him. But it will be very decent if I present it to him. Besides, he isn't married. He's a very frivolous person. Thank you for your work. If you will not take money, then please accept this gift. It, it is most unusual. Wonderful, delightful. Where did you get it? I'm afraid you have to take away your present. I can't accept it. Oh, but, but why? Because I have a mother, a client. It's inconvenient. Oh, no, 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 no. You must accept this. It is a museum piece. I, I, I don't want to talk about it. You will offend the thing is beautiful. It'd be a pity to throw it away, but indecent to leave it here. I must present it as a present to someone. But to whom? Comic Shushkin. He likes such things. And by the way, has a charity performance tonight. <laughs> I did too. I'm very curious to see it. Uh, let's go and pay this thing visit. <laughs> yeah, looks like we're not the first to see it. What a strange thing. I mean, I have a few undergarments and you get this. May I come in? No, no, uh, not just yet. You've been stripped on stage before, so what does it matter? Uh, why don't you listen as intently to me now as you do when you're listening to my act? Uh, don't come in. Don't come in. Shushkin, what are you hiding? Just my dignity from you. What are you being so obstinate about? How can one tame a 
entire audience and not one single person outside this room. Because in such a situation they are paying to be obedient. Mr. Barnes! Yes, you should. I hear that you've received some of that as to your many gifts. Uh, indeed, my dear. Unfortunately, it's inconvenient for me to see you now. Well, Shaska, but you're always so keen. I received an unexpected guest earlier. I'm running behind schedule. Indeed, that is unfortunate, but this is my wait. Sorry, my dear. That was very inconvenient. Uh, I'm hardly dressed. Hmm. Well, what am I to do with the candelabrium? I have actresses coming in here. It's not like a picture that I could just put away under the table. Oh, I sell it, sir. There's a woman not far from here. She deals in ancient bronze. Go there and ask for some over. Everyone knows her. I heard you collect ancient bronze and I have a candelabrum here for you. Yes, indeed I do. Please try it for me. Ah, yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. No <laughs> doubt longer than you have been looking for me. How much? No, no, no. It's for free. Please, take it off my hand. If money is inconvenient, then please accept this vodka made from a recipe of my husband before he died. I couldn't possibly deny no. Do not spend me. Doctor, you are very lucky. We were able to find a pair for your candelabrum. My mother is very happy. I am my mother's only son. You saved my life. Всем добрый вечер За столом собрались близкие друзья Любимый город, ты так же молод После разлуки долго вместе ты и я В ночь улетаем, цветы срываем Для девочек нам близких и родных Звенит веселье, завтра похмелье в лазурном вылечат от боли головны Чипаец под Самарой городок Чипаец, выпьем за него проток За друзей, за наших дам Делим хлеб с кем пополам Где рады и проезжим, и гостям Где рады и приезжим, и друзьям Соседка Таня, привет, мой дворик и зеленая трава. Под звук гитары, звон стеклотары, Свой разговор ведет воровая братва. Весенний вечер, радость от встречи, Дым по бюросу носит теплый ветерок. Во строге темном, краю холодном, Стал дорог мне мой милый городок Чипаец под Самарой городок Чипаец выпьем за него, браток За друзей, за наших там Делим хлеб с кем пополам Где рады и проявляем
проезжим и гостям Где рады и приезжим мы друзьям Сегодня все мы снова за столом Помянем павших, чужих и наших За матерей мы выпьем и нальем Махнем за волю, за нашу долю За традиции Чапаевской братвы Нас ночью кроет, хмель успокоит Шальные мысли буйной головы под Самарой городок Чипаец Выпьем за него браток За друзей, за нашу дам Делим хлеб с кем пополам Где рады и проезжим и гостям Где рады и проезжим